Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Wolstein, owner and pharmacist at Brandon Health Mart Pharmacy, and I wanted to talk to you today about the new Nasacort nasal spray. If you're like me, over the last few weeks, your email has been overrun with news of Nasacort being now over the counter. What's that? No one else knew that? Only pharmacists? Alright. Well, it happened. And with the upcoming allergy season, I thought now would be a good time to tell you more about Nasacort and decide if you think it's going to be right for your allergies. As a pharmacist, it's always nice to have another tool at your disposal when people come in looking for recommendations. That being said, I'm not specifically endorsing Nasacort, even though they did send me a sweet mouse pad, but rather the class of drug that they encompass, which is steroid nasal sprays. For people who suffer with allergies, there are actually several things over the counter to choose from, but really they just boil down to two different categories. The first category are antihistamines, which are used for runny nose or watery eyes. Examples of these would include Zyrtec, Allegra, or Claritin. The second category are decongestants. Sudafed is the best decongestant. It does require more paperwork, and there are limits on the amount that you can get each month, because sometimes it can be turned into meth. It also shouldn't be used for people with uncontrolled high blood pressure. That goes for both Sudafed and meth. Steroid nasal sprays, like Nasacort, work a completely different way. When your body encounters an allergen, a very complicated cascade of processes happen. When I was in pharmacy school, I knew this entire process, but now I do not remember. But I do remember the words to Ice Ice Baby. The main thing to take away is that steroid nasal sprays work a completely different way than antihistamines, which leads to many different benefits. First, steroid nasal sprays can be used both for runny nose and congestion. Also, it should not affect blood pressure at all, so it might be a good choice for people with high blood pressure. It has even been approved for children as young as two years old. And you know how two-year-olds love to have things going into and out of their nose. So who may want to try a steroid nasal spray, specifically Nasacort, this year? One thing to keep in mind is that steroid nasal sprays don't work as fast as antihistamine pills do. Steroid nasal sprays take a while to kick in, which usually means that it's better for chronic problems. So the number one person to get this is going to be someone who has chronic bad allergies, especially if they're not getting relief from their regular antihistamine pills. Also, people with high blood pressure who really need something for congestion may benefit from this medication as well. If you are interested in trying it, there are $2 off coupons just about everywhere, including my pharmacy. Let's do the math on that with my new Nasacort calculator. Regular price, minus $2, equals, whoa, that's a deal at 10 times the price, which is what it cost when it was prescription. I hope this video helped you prepare for the impending allergy season. Did you find this video helpful? A like would be much appreciated, and if you have any ideas for other products you'd like me to review, please leave it in the comments. Thank you for supporting your local pharmacy and local business. Have a great day.